In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add and manage uh, some simple graphic elements um, for your page. Um, in preparation for this, I have, and I'm just going to hide Dreamweaver for a second here, just created a banner background image for my uh, header uh, div, and also just a small little, I've retrieved a small little a uh, piece of uh, Apple clip art here that I'm going to use to show you inline graphic placement. Um, so, toggle back to Dreamweaver. Um, I'm going to add a background um, image to my header here. Uh, and to do that, I simply go to CSS Designer. Uh, once I have the background image created um, here, and you remember that the header um, is 750 pixels wide. So if you're creating um, artwork in Photoshop or wherever you're creating it, uh, make sure that the width is the correct width for your um, div. Um, and the height is going to be variable here um, as well, uh, but I'll show you how to adjust that. So I've selected the header, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the um, background properties icon, click on that and go to background image, find URL, path, and when I click inside there, this little um, folder icon comes up and I click on that. And if it didn't, doesn't work, try it again. And uh, once that comes up, I can navigate to my artwork that I'm going to use. So I've created this artwork. I'm sure that you can do much better than this um, with yours, but I'm going to choose that. Um, notice the dimensions are 750 by 162. I did create this in Photoshop. And I'm going to open that. Now when I do that, because that folder, that um, image is on the desktop, uh, Dreamweaver s says um, in this dialog box, this file is outside of the root folder of site web design and may not be accessible when you publish the site. Your root folder is, and it gives me the place and um, the position of the folder. Would you like to copy the file there now? Yes, you're going to copy the file over there because obviously you want to make sure that it's part of your website, your root folder, when you upload the image uh, and your page uh, updates to the, your website. So I'm going to say yes. And um, I'm going to then place it. So then it wants to know where I want to put it. And I want to make sure I put it inside my root folder, inside the images folder. So I keep everything um, nicely organized. So I'm going to save it as banner bgd background.png. You can use GIF, PNG, um, or JPEGs. Um, and uh, I have separate tutorials on talking about the different image types that you can view optionally. Um, and so I'm going to click Save to save the image there. And you can see that it's in there, but it's not showing the whole um, artwork the way I want it to be seen. So I'm going to, um, once again, open up CSS Designer. With the header selected, I'm going to go to Layout icon in Properties. And I want to adjust the height. and the height of my image is actually 162 pixels, as you saw when we clicked on the image to select it. So I'm going to select the height properties, select pixels, click inside there, and I'm going to type in 162, hit return, and you can see now it's showing the whole um, image there in the header div. Now, a couple of things going on here. First of all, you can still see the header, heading one, text in there. Um, and we want to get rid of that, but we don't want to just delete it. And the reason we don't want to delete it is, you'll remember in an earlier tutorial, I said that heading one is the most important text on the page. You have to have some heading one text available so that when people search for your site, um, the, the text is returned. So you want to make sure that you keep this um, on your web page, but we do want to hide it when we add a, um, an image over it. 
This is called, this technique I'm going to show you now is called text replacement and it maintains semantic integrity for our um, web page. So to um, hide this without deleting it, we simply go back to our CSS designer, click on that, and we're going to go to the header H1 rule and um, make sure that we have the layout properties selected. And if you go down to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh option, seventh property down, we have display. You simply click on display and choose instead of um, inline or inherit, you're going to choose none. And that effectively hides heading one without deleting it. So it's still there for the search engine to find and return David's great website. Um, but it won't be there where, so long as um, the client's computer is showing CSS um, rules. So we've got our image in there, looks great, except it doesn't really match the background color, or the background color doesn't match the um, feathered edges of this image. So in order to make that match um, the surrounding body, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to you guessed it, the CSS designer panel, and I'm going to go back to my body rule, choose body, I'm going to go to background properties, and um, where it says background color, I'm going to delete that, and you can see it's white here, but I don't know that that feathered edge is quite bright white, so I want to get the color that's right on the edge of my image. And so to do that, I'm going to click on background color um, and it pulls up the color selector. But right down the right hand corner here of the color picker is an eyedropper tool. I'm going to click on that tool and I'm going to go over to the very edge of my image here and choose the color that I want for the page to match it. So I click on that. And then I hit return. You can see that it's chosen the color over here. I hit return. And sure enough, now my page um, uh, is a little bit grayer. But maybe I want it a little bit uh, lighter than that. So I'm going to go click on the picker again here. Choose the eyedropper. Go right to the edge. Click on it. Hit return. And there, so now it's it's not quite white, but it matches the feathered edge of my image. And I'm going to close the CSS design panel. I'm going to preview this in my browser. I'm going to click on the globe here and choose preview in Safari. Say yes to save. And there I have my new banner with the name of my website up here and uh, matching the background color.